today we're gonna find out who wins between one tiny rich little island and one massive sprawling wasteland. So we get to fill this torture chamber up with whatever we want and we can be as mean as we want to the inhabitants of this world. The first thing I'm gonna do is downgrade the soil of the bigger area that way less stuff grows for them. I will however leave just a little strip near the water just to give them some kind of chance. Then we get to rain down resources on our little island. We're gonna make these guys ultra rich in a very small little space. It actually might get a little bit hard to figure out where to put all of this stuff but we can top it up as we go. If they mine through it all they'll get more. We take care of our little idiots. They're gonna get even adamantine right beside their spawn location which I'm pretty sure is normally hard to get but that's gonna give them a pretty good advantage over the idiots. And presumably creatures need to eat so we're <laughs> gonna give them some berry bushes so much so that they probably can't move anymore and also some tree seeds uh, i think we just add some water and those are gonna grow so they're gonna have no shortage of well pretty much everything and we'll keep topping it up as we go yeah that seems to be working we have some trees popping up wherever they can fit uh, amongst the berries and this is gonna be a rich little civilization i am just a little bit worried about the lack of diversity in biomes so i'm gonna put just a little more of other biomes here too to be sure they have absolutely everything they need i care about these idiots and the crystal biome actually grows crystals instead of plants, so that's got to be really good for everyone else. The swamp, I don't know what that grows. And finally, we're going to add some chickens to the mix because they deserve some meat, and I assume chickens are food. That should be enough of a healthy population to keep expanding but not crashing the game. I've also put a mountain wall in between them so the two sides should not be able to fight yet. Now, these guys are going to get the savanna biome. I assume that's most like the wasteland because it says it's kind of hot. I assume it's pretty much a desert where stuff isn't likely to thrive or grow very quickly. And that's going to be their problem. Look how much space they have to work with. That's good enough. They're going to have some patchy spots here. The, the biome should overtake that anyway. It's going to be very hot. But in case they do get a little bit too hot or thirsty, there is a little bit of water for them. And I do obviously need to give them some kind of resources. So I'm just going to give them little clusters of stuff here and there. And they're just going to have to make do with that. It's supposed to be a wasteland. They get a wasteland. I am in the bottom corner going to put arcane desert seeds because apparently this eventually expands into more desert. So I don't know if that's good or bad. They'll find out. So we have the rich, thriving little island against a big barren wasteland. Now we just need some inhabitants. Humans. Basic humans with basic needs for basic viewers. We're going to throw a few of those down here and they're hopefully all going to get along to start. Orcs are green and brutish creatures, don't like humans, that's perfect, they won't get along, they'll fight any chance they get. We're gonna throw some of them right down here around the watering hole. Now I guess the only thing left to do after saving my game carefully is press play and see what they do with themselves. They'll probably set up a few different kingdoms, probably running for whatever resources they can get right away. The humans on the other hand uh, have also set up two different kingdoms, but they're obviously very rich in resources. They're not going to go hungry. They've got plenty of trees, they'll get more, they've got plenty of uh, ore, plenty of everything they need. Three different kingdoms each. It's probably about the amount of uh, people I threw down. So we're just going to kind of let them develop for a little bit to see what they can do with the world around them. Uh, I just heard a lightning strike somewhere, so I'll <laughs> already this guy's biome is on fire. We'll see how far that goes. So these lower orc kingdoms have already evolved very slightly because they're, instead of a campfire, they have like a spiky hut. And these kingdoms are newer than these ones, so these guys are doing something wrong. The humans though are following suit. One of the kingdoms is still around a campfire, the other ones have some like great halls going. It's been 15 years, the populations move up to 208, there's been 27 deaths. I'm assuming that's mostly over in Orkland, but people are starting to get a little bit old. The orcs are actually doing surprisingly well considering they're given very little. They basically have a few trees and some wasteland grassland. But they're able to utilize that, so that's actually kind of good. They're even starting to build armies. They're a level 2 out of 5 village now, they have an army of 10, they have a population of 46. The humans, for example, also have a 2 out of 9 village, 9 army, 44. They're actually quite similar so far, but they're probably better set up to thrive further ahead. To start, they basically need wood and food. The orcs may or may not be fighting. They look like they want to fight. Those are the armies. That's okay if they do fight. They'll conquer each other a little bit. That's the nature of having limited resources. Eventually, they need to fight to take them from each other. They've also founded a new village up here. Eventually, they'll occupy the whole wasteland and sort themselves out. We've even got some giant mushrooms growing in the mushroom biome, which they actually seem like they're in a bit of a hurry to mine for some reason. The humans have established some uh, boats and trading at this point. I don't know where they're going to go, but they might be able to go off map for uh, better things. But there's presumably fish out there. So this human village is thriving the best so far. It's got a population of 100, which is basically triple the other villages. Uh, meanwhile, this kingdom of orcs is going bananas. Uh, it's got a population of 200, but you can see everyone fighting the easy fighters right now. 
uh, the blood of Nowruz is is coming over to kill the kingdom uh, easy fighters. I'm uh, very happy with the orcs so far. They're not going to be a very advanced civilization, but they're expanding and utilizing their wasteland well. And they're uh, definitely having some pretty big fights going on. So this big orc kingdom actually is a 7 out of 6, so they've got one more village than, than they can control, which probably explains the fighting, but they do have an army of 40. Uh, which is probably why they're uh, using their advantage now to go ahead and kill everyone like this. Yes, it just turned pink because they defeated that. The population of the world is 615. We've had 300 deaths, which is a pretty high death rate. Uh, but already the army is marching to conquer these guys. And I think they're going to do it because they've got a much bigger, probably more advanced army. The rich humans might be running out of food, so we're going to go ahead and drop a few cows down on them. Their population seems to have stagnated, but they might not be able to grow without more size. Or they might need more resources, I'm not really sure. They do seem to chop down the trees in a really big hurry, so I'm going to give them tons of trees. They can turn that into whatever they want, including sticks. The orcs are just continually fighting. But that's great, because they're going to keep expanding. They've got room to grow into, they're going to use it. The leader of this particular army has a legendary stick. I'm pretty sure that's as good as sticks can get. It's got finesse, speed, truth. So these guys are actually really working well with the little resources they have. I'm also going to give the humans coffee. I think I can make it rain coffee now that makes them go fast. So they're just going to be extra productive. Hopefully that doesn't do any damage, but they're going to get coffeed. Uh, Great Supem, whatever they're called, seems to have upgraded again. They have like a stone house and their buildings are getting better. Population is stagnated. They might physically need more size to do so. Their level 15 culture, we're going to go ahead and compare that to the orcs, who have once again split up into a billion different. These guys are the oldest, they should be the most advanced, they even have a windmill. Yeah, the orcs are only a culture level 6 compared to the humans 15, so they're lagging behind there. So it really is going to be a matter of uh, quality versus quantity. The orcs have decided on a very interesting shape, pointed directly at these guys, so I feel like that's a warning to them. The humans have a nice windmill farm going, so they should be pretty self-sustainable for food. So that means I'm probably going to stop replenishing berry bushes because they probably got enough berries by now. They even have a quarry. I didn't know they could do that because I didn't realize they'd already used up all their uh, precious ores. So I'm going to have to give them back some more ore. But that kind of works out. Whoops, that was too many. Well, you guys have a lot of stone now. And we're going to make it a little bit interesting for the orcs right now too. Because I don't know if I gave them any. They have stone, but let's give them a few ore deposits right here. They can all fight the way toward this if they want it. I'm not going to give them much, just a little bit. It's more of an incentive to fight over. They can't really do anything with this, I think. So the humans, even a basic army unit, now has a bronze epic sword. So I feel like that would really slice through the sticks of the orcs. So far it's been 87 years. We've got a total world population of 1300, so they're really actually thriving. We've had more deaths than lives, but generations come and go. That's how it works. Oh, there's a tornado going through Orkland though, so <laughs> that's fun for them. That thing's probably going to go, look at all the orcs getting tossed around. I'm okay with this. The humans are up to level 17 in their culture. They're still limited by the population, but they've got a lot of different knowledges. They can even use the earth to make houses at this point, so I don't know how much they even need wood anymore. The orcs surprisingly aren't super far behind. They're level 14, and they're actually starting to get a lot of the things because they managed to find a little bit. But they also don't have as much to work with. So it really looks like the savannah where the orcs live uh, love natural disasters. And I don't know what this thing is, but I think it came from the lightning. Something's starting to fight the fiery demons. Uh, and someone probably should, otherwise I think they're just going to perpetually light things on fire. The orcs are going into trying to beat them. Who's going to win? A truly HD battle to behold. I'm not recording in 4K, just FYI, so if you're surprised by the quality, well, don't be. <laughs> they're all on fire now, what idiots. But it looks like they're actually able to defeat the lava demons. Uh, at the sacrifice of about 10 units that suffer a horrible fiery death. The humans are mostly well fed. The ones close to the ocean definitely have lots of fish inside them. But he's got a legendary weapon, a legendary bronze sword. That would probably murder all of the orcs all at once. They're up to level 22 culture. They've got all sorts of things to work with. But the orcs have all also officially reached the ocean. So they should start to thrive because they've got an uh, ocean to work with. I think that's probably going to give the ocean ones a good advantage, and that's probably also going to mean that they're also getting raided a lot. Uh, they're fighting for some reason. The humans for the first time are fighting. That's probably okay because, uh, oh, they're starting to get armor too. Armor is really going to put them over the top. They're getting hungry. They maybe don't have enough fish out there because it's not a huge area for them to fish really. So this is the leader of the army. He's got an epic wooden stick. These guys might just be straight up bullying them. They both have wooden sticks. Well, we'll let the humans fight. One of them's going to gain more territory and they're probably fighting over I don't know what. Oh, that's good for the humans. They all just turn into the same. Now they can all uh, share all the resources. And that makes it easy for me because I can just put down stuff in one spot now and it's all the same village. I figure they need lots of gold by now. They're really good at making stuff out of silver. They need some gold practice. 
They might have just been jealous of all the neighbors' uh, riches, so they now have lots of everything. We're going to lay down all sorts of food right now just to make sure these uh, really thrive. Uh, probably shouldn't do that too much. That will crash the game eventually. But there's some cows. Well, now that they're joined into one great army, I feel like they're going to have a better chance. This guy's full of berries. He gets it. He's got an epic iron sword. Their culture is level 24. They've got all sorts of good stuff going on. I'm not really sure which one of the orcs is the most advanced at this point. I'm probably going to go with whatever one has the biggest population for now, which is presumably these guys. So you guys, identify. Okay, he's got no equipment. Uh, it's not a very well-equipped army, but they're very drunk. Yeah, it's only level 12 culture. Uh, so they're not doing super great, but there's a lot of them. They have a lot of wooden sticks and stuff. Oh, he's got a wooden spear. Curiously, now that the humans are all banded together, their population started growing again. So I don't know, some of them had something the other ones needed, but they're all sort of thriving at this point. They're at tier 5 houses now, but at the rate they're going through R, we're going to give them a lot more to work with. Legendary Stone Sword. These guys love their legendaries. How are the orcs doing? They've got some boats. They've gotten all sorts of stuff. There's tornadoes going on. These guys are just constantly getting destroyed by natural disasters. Uh, let's see their... Uh, well, one of them. They, they're still dealing with wooden sticks. I don't know if they're going to get anything better than wooden stone. Because there's not even a lot of either around. Like, this is the biggest kingdom here. And they have, like, rare wooden sticks, if that. Since the human population has grown a little bit. And I assume some new ones have been born. We're going to add some coffee rain to make sure they're okay. Every good civilization thrives on coffee. They've already gone through their ore again. They're such greedy little idiots. I feel like the orcs are slowly starting to form into big uh, empires. And I think they will over time. They'll eventually become one or two big empires and then fracture again. Just like real life. Uh, apparently the king of this place is just died. So maybe under new management they can thrive even more. He probably OD'd on coffee. Now if I check the army, they tend to be having leather stuff, so they've clearly gotten good at leather working. This guy's got silver armor, so these guys are definitely, wow, getting upgraded quick. Can you believe it's only been 166 years? The world population is 3,000 at this point. Uh, the orcs are still doing their thing. The rich humans, though, they're really thriving down here. <laughs> Amongst the cows, they have lots of food. I don't know if the cows are going to eat other resources or not. I never considered that. I just unleashed the horde of cows on them. Okay, I just clicked on a miner. He's got a culture level of 29. Look at the things he's able to do. He's got super knowledge gain. He's able to make all the way up to silver. He can make armor. He's a very valuable guy to have. Uh, the orcs, for example, like this one, I think is a farmer. He's got some stuff. They're up to a level four house, which is pretty good. Uh, but they don't have the advanced knowledge because they have the resources to work with. They can make sharp axes and mining efficiency. They can do armor. But they don't have the resources to do anything. They can basically make stuff out of wood and stone. There's a tornado dangerously close to the humans. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Hopefully it stays over there and hurts the orcs. The population of humans did just climb over 300 for the first time. Which is obviously very scarce in comparison to the orcs. But they're much more advanced. These guys are actually getting reasonably close to a thousand population. Okay, by this point the humans are actually starting to get legendary silver armor. So we have at least a few villagers here that can make really good silver stuff. And now we're starting to see a lot more iron armor, which presumably is better. We even some legendary iron armor. Meanwhile, the orcs are still completely divided in their kingdoms, constantly fighting everything. I think this is probably about the oldest kingdom. They don't even have anything in their inventory. They're just running around hitting each other with fists. So I just took a look at the king of all the humans, like the king of the whole island. He's got lots of legendary stuff. They obviously give him the best, even some bone rings and stuff that makes him much stronger. But I'm also starting to feel like each little village, whatever resources are closest to them are the ones they work with. So I need to put resources more in the center for everyone to share. Back over in the orc side of town, the one empire on the east is a thousand people officially now, and it's actually a large part of the map. It covers the whole eastern edge. Uh, and some of these little fiery guys have appeared amongst the humans. I'm doing my best to uh, put them out with the uh, rain. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure what these are, where they come from, but they do show up once in a while. The humans made short work of them, also because I was putting out the fire, because I want them to fight the orcs, not fiery demon idiots. Oh, he got a flame sword. He stole it from the idiot. Wow, that's got a lot of damage. 250 years. All right, well, we got some big orc empires going on. Uh, let's see what their culture is here. They actually made it all the way up to level 26 culture. They're actually, they can make up this silver stuff. That would be great for them if they actually had any silver. Uh, there was just, I don't know what happened, an earthquake or something and destroyed like the center of uh, the human village. So they're going to have a little rebuilding to do. But I think it's time we figure out if the rich little island can defeat the big wasteland. The humans are way outnumbered, but they have way better gear. They have all sorts of legendary iron and silver gear, whereas the orcs have nothing and sometimes sticks. So we're going to build a bit of a land bridge right across here. 
because the orcs don't like humans so they should uh, naturally try and attack them. Plus there's lots of resources here the orcs should want and there's space over here the humans want. So this desolate soil is going to become a non-stop battleground. I imagine the clash is going to happen somewhere there. My vote is that the orcs are going to win just because numbers. They can keep uh, piling it onto the humans. The humans have way better gear 1v1. They would destroy the orcs but it's going to be a numbers game. The Orcish Empire is moving slightly forward. I'm the Orcish race, we'll call them, because it's a bunch of different empires. Look at this thing, though. These guys are actually probably somewhat advanced. Well, they're level 22 culture, but they got lots of different stuff going on. They're not completely useless. Okay, and just to get uh, incentivize them moving forward a little bit quicker, I've added down some grass biome. Now they should want that space just a little more. We'll even, you know, throw down some berry bushes. That should. Uh, in incentivize them to get into the center. There you go. Look at all that food, orky idiots. And uh, perhaps some gold will entice them out. Ooh, look at the nice gold and rare, rare stuff you guys don't have over there. Yeah, the orcs want it. They're going for it. Humans are so rich, they don't even care. Okay, I'm just going to straight up make them get in a fight with each other. You guys should fight each other now. Is that how that works? So far, not really. The miner is going out to get some of this stuff. Uh, he's going to do his best, and hopefully that's enough to annoy each other. I th think a meteorite just hit, which is really bad timing. Because now the humans might be a little distracted rebuilding and stuff. But that's okay. That's part of the experiment. Stuff's just going to happen. It's out of our control. Okay, here goes uh, the armies maybe moving forward. Uh, their leader is... Okay, he's got a flame sword, so he's ready to go. These guys are all have some legendaries. This was a top village. They were never the most geared. Oh, but they're, go oh, they're going way into orc territory. Oh, that's not very smart. Okay, well, they're going to start right here. They should just battle whatever orc is right in front of them. And if they do it like that, fighting 10v1, they can beat the orcs. Because they'll just destroy them one, two at a time. Time. Don't need to worry about you guys lighting stuff on fire. Okay, the humans are moving in. They're definitely doing a number to the orcs, but the orcs are surprisingly resilient and the orcs are going to have lots of backup. Okay, here come the rest of the humans. They're pushing in. They're going to have all sorts of good bows. They need to take out their leaders because their leaders are actually actually going to have some pretty legendary stuff. But you know, good on the orcs for uh, making do with basically no resources at all. The humans had everything handed to them. They did well with it, but it's kind of a numbers game. Okay, the orcs so far are destroying the humans. They might also naturally just be a little bit bigger and stronger than humans because they're orcs. So maybe I should have done this the other way around and had more humans out there. But so far the humans are, you know, okay. They did a number to this village. And someone keeps lighting things on fire. Okay, now the orcs are moving in and uh, the humans better come to the defense. Some of the stronger humans are coming now. These guys have legendary silver stuff. So 1v1, they would definitely destroy orcs. But the orcs have so many numbers that, yeah, the humans might be in trouble here. Uh, I figured the orcs would win. I didn't think they would win this quickly, but I guess when you have enough time to just build, uh, you know, legendary wooden stuff, it's maybe enough combined with the numbers. Uh, and even like the uh, orcs up here are moving all the way in, I didn't think they would splinter from all over the place to come into the humans. Humans have lost one third of their population already and that's dropping quick. Uh, the orcs have just taken out, like, that might have been their main capital building even, so that's not great. Orcs are really strong. Yeah, so it's really looking like uh, space is better than uh, it, its quantity over quality, at least in this scenario. If you give something some space, they will thrive. Humans just didn't have the numbers. They had everything handed to them. Food, water, uh, trees, wood, ore, everything. Even roads. They built highway networks. But then the orcs came in armed with virtually nothing. Wood weapons and... Oh, this one might die, actually. Look how strong he is, though. Oh, he must have stolen some of the human stuff. He has legendary silver stuff now. Oh, they finally got him. Uh, the orcs have already expanded into human territory. The humans are down to half HP, half their uh, initial people. Bad uh, is coming over to also fight, so that's bad news for the humans. I'm pretty sure at this point the orcs are not going to care about their internal fights. They're going to go for the humans they hate, especially because of these resources. They want this. And I think it's a few of these top orcs with legendary stuff that are really doing a number. Because they're just walking through and like blitzing the humans. The humans have better gear and stuff for the most part. But the few top orcs are enough to just destroy. Uh, new at this point can just see all the orcs and stuff funneling in. Whether it's armies or just regular orcs. Like these guys don't even have anything. 170 HP. This human with gear for example has... 450 HP with 22 attack. So his attack isn't hugely different, but he's got so much more HP because of this stuff. But it takes like four orcs then to, to equal one human, and there's more than a four to one ratio in the world. Uh, there's 133 humans, so there's about 3,000 orcs. So it's about a 30 to one ratio. So yeah, that's why the orcs win. Yeah, the <laughs> orcs are just absolutely destroying them. They just move right on in. And the human numbers drop and drop and drop. The orcs just keep coming. The humans took out quite a few of the orcs. They really did. But they just, they were like ants. They just overpowered them all. Here comes another army. Once this one's defeated, another one would come in from who knows where. 
There are seven humans left in the world. Pretty soon they're going extinct thanks to the raw numbers of the orcs who had nothing to start with and they overcame that. Well, orcs win. The end. <laughs>